Hey guys, welcome to another episode on Brawl Stars. And inside today's video, I am going to say that I have pushed my Leon about thousand trophies. That's right, I have pushed Leon about thousand trophies. It was a very crazy push, and I struggled a lot for about half a day. Due to the matchmaking stuff that took seven minutes to go into a game, it took a very long time to push my Leon. As in today's Brawl Stars meta, in the legendary rarity category, there are four brawlers. In that, many of them are saying Leon is the worst legendary brawler. Although everyone have their own strengths and weaknesses, Sandy is in the first. Spike is in the second and Crow is in the third, and my boy Leon is in the fourth. Many of them are saying like that, but I don't. Everyone has their own strengths. Sandy is strong in three vs three game modes. Spike is a... Spike fits in many different game modes, mostly all of the game modes. Leon and Crow are basically most strong in showdown, takedown, lone star. Like that game modes, but they are not really good at 3v3. Sometimes a little bit Crow and Leon are good in brawl ball, but other than that, Leon is not good in 3v3. Anyways, uh, we are accounting just showdown game modes, takedown game modes, and lone star game modes. According to these three game modes. The legendary brawlers who are shining very well. We need to accept the fact that Leon is a great. Leon is very good. Crow is also very good. Spike, we, Spike, we can't. He, he is very good. But let's just keep Crow and Spike in the second rank. Leon is the first in showdown. I can prove it. I have the gameplays of myself killing Crow and. Uh, Sandy. Though it was very hard for me to push Leon about thousand trophies, I didn't play Leon in three versus three game modes because with randoms you can't believe them. So I played showdown game modes, ah, basically which is solo. I will prefer mostly playing alone. This is a gameplay of Leon destroying Sandy and Crow and all other brawlers. They were so aggressive that I chased down this Piper and killed her. Literally. Actually, Mortises are also very good on this map. I was killed by Mortis several times. Even though the coil snake is so OP, even if they reduced this range from 100% to 75% of his dash, he's still strong. See, I put my ability and chased her down and killed her. Yeah, this Sandy didn't have a star power, but even though I kill, she is power 9, she or he is power 9, I killed him. Just like that. Yeah, I literally I am in the first place. See, I killed this crow also. He had no chance for me to oppose me. So in this way, how other brawlers can face Leon? There are some less brawlers who can face Leon, like Bull Shelly and other shotgun brawlers. That's it. In this game, it was pretty intense. There were some easy targets like Penny, Nita, and uh, Jean. Yes, Jean. 
I kill many of the brothers because of their uh, they didn't keep the distance. So I used my ability and I saw him and I was about to chase him because Jean used his super and all like that stuff. Anyways, I killed the Leon with the help of Penny. And after this, I didn't give up and die. I just waited out and waited for the right moment to kill this Penny. And this Jean was also trying to kill me but I ran away by using my super. And I was hoping that I can kill him after I recharge my super and my energy but I was very very less, I had a very less energy and even though I thought I do, I will die but I killed him. Literally in this game I didn't die, I was left and right killing all the people in the way I was there. So close. He could have killed me because the first time he used four of his blades, he wasted his ammo. One ammo. So I was able to defeat him. I didn't use all of my I used all of my ammo to kill that guy alone. So just I am waiting out. All of them are fighting and trembling. Okay, that's it. This is a gameplay of Solo Showdown. And at this point of time I was like about 995 trophies and I was very tensed. What to say, I was in so much pressure, you know. Actually, I worked. Uh, last night I was just 780 trophies it was so hard for me because continuously i lost the games and i didn't give up to play the game the very best tip i can give to leon for you to push leon about thousand trophies is that don't get angry if you lose if you are angry, play with some other brawler who has the less trophies and just be calm because all the time you cannot win. I lost more than 3 to 4 games and I continuously lost and go to the la 900 or 800. So that's not the way. If you get angry and if you are not aware or patient you would get killed you cannot concentrate the game see this was a pretty intense game i thought i cannot kill that shelly but i used my see this game this see i she blasted me and i killed him but i killed her first <laughs> that was very very good i felt very good for that Let us hop into a match. Obviously, I am scared of playing with him because this season I have pushed him about 1000 trophies. If I lose about 1000 trophies, when I lose some trophies, it is very difficult to come over. It is very difficult to cope up because in rank 5 or 4 itself, if I be there, my cup will be 0 trophies. When I am at the rank 4, I will get 0 trophies. Imagine it, if I lose, if I be in the last rank or 9th rank, 8th rank, I will lose minus 12 or minus 10 trophies. It's very very difficult to cope up. Due to this matchmaking times, it is difficult for me to cope up. After 3-4 minutes or 5 minutes, we are into a match. Obviously, I will play passive because it takes me so long to go into a match, so... I will wait for some time because all, all of them will kill themselves, see?
If we get a rage battle, that will be so cool. See, that guy who teamed with us, he's having so much power cube. Yeah, just you. I didn't expect it would be this fast, this much fast. Okay. At least we need to do a kill. Oh, this, this silly. Yeah. We killed her. If we lose now, we will get just zero trophies or one trophy at this point of time. See, I think this bow will be there. He will do the job for us. We'll just wait out here. Oh, there is a Leon. Yeah, that Leon is there. See? That cactus, I saw the, uh, that spike over there. See, he's here. Easy game. We didn't do that much hard work. All was done by Mr. Bo. And I was thinking how to kill that bow. Before that, another Leon killed him and I killed that Leon. So that's the way that it's just, I didn't purposely team with him because he has more power cubes. So sometimes if I attack him or uh, make him angry, he will come after me to kill me. So that's the reason I teamed him. But I will not be joining with them to kill others. That's the difference. In local, in global I am in the 17th rank after I gave, played the game with Leon. And in the local, I am first. That's insane. This is my first ever accomplishment push. A brawler about thousand trophies. It's all because of his support, guys. That is going to be the end of this episode. If you like this video, like and subscribe to my channel. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Which is the best legendary brawler in solo game modes? In my opinion, Leon is the best brawler due to his movement speed and his DPS. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next. One. Bye.